we need to be prepared for when things go wrong. Now this isn't just about resilience, but what I'm talking about today is about sabotage. Self-sabotage or sabotage from other people. Now you might say, what? Sabotage? I don't want people to sabotage what I do. I think that I really want to have people around me who support me and grow, grow with me and, and make, help me to shine. And yes, you do. However, when we make inroads into personal development, when we change and grow our self-awareness, our self-regulation, and develop who we are as a person and understand our inner self more, which is what authentic leadership is about, then we will find that there will be sabotage that happens. Now, self-sabotage is when we go, oh, we got to the certain stage, I was like, yeah, it's going really well, it's fantastic, it's awesome. And then unconsciously, we might go, oh, oh, but I've never been there before. I don't know if I can do that. I've never actually achieved that high. I've never actually grown that much. I've never actually done this on a consistent basis before, and I don't know if I can do it. Self-sabotage. Often it's our unconscious mind pulling us back to where it is familiar. <clears throat> pulling us back to where it knows that we are safe. Pulling us back to go, oh, no, th this is really where you need to go. Just stay here. It's, it's sort of warm and comfortable here and it's okay. So we need to recognize those moments when we're sabotaging things ourselves and have strong, effective plans and agency in place to grow and develop forward. So the other type of sabotage you may see is from friends, family members, work colleagues, teams. Now you may think, oh, that sounds terrible. Often it's unconscious, totally unconscious. And it's about where those people can morph and grow to as well. Because if you have people in your team that want to keep growing and developing and understanding more and going, oh my gosh, that's really cool. Tell me more about that. What is this about? How come you don't get so stressed anymore? How come you seem to be really stronger and more resilient? How come you put these boundaries in place which you never did before? And you'll get the people who are curious and want to know more and want to come with you and grow and develop with you. And then you'll get the others that go, oh, I don't, oh what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean you're not having come to the family things three times a week? You're only coming once. What do you mean? What do you mean you're busy? Everybody's busy. What, what, what do you mean you're putting in that boundary for yourself at work? What do you mean you want to go home at six o'clock instead of eight o'clock every night? What, 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 how, who's going to do the work? You will find that these comments come through. You will find that these responses will come through. You will sometimes hear them. Sometimes there'll be ripples. Sometimes you'll feel them, depending on how you're tuned into them. But what's really important is that you recognize that when you're growing and developing and strengthening and morphing and transforming yourself and your leadership going forward, this will happen. Not if, it will. So you need to be prepared for that. So you need to be open for yourself without the blame, the judgment, without any shame and going, or criticism, self-criticism, without any of that. So when you go, oh, that was a terrible response, I did that wrong. Oh my gosh, I just leapt straight into lots of negative self-talk and I just went and blamed that person for not doing their role and I just went off my tree at them and oh my gosh, <clears throat> that wasn't really good. That was a terrible response. Oh, I, I'm better than that, I shouldn't have done that. I, the, and then we get into this negative spiral of all this language. And when we do that, it's not helping anyone. It's certainly not helping ourselves and our growth and development and transformation. So it's really important to recognize that when it's starting to happen, be open, be self-aware and go, oh, okay, I need, oh my gosh, I'm starting to beat up on myself again, okay? I'm gonna set that aside. <clears throat> that didn't go so well. I didn't do quite what I wanted to do there. So now, how can I move forward and do it differently again? Ah, the light bulb. That may be one of those self-sabotage moments that Elizabeth talked about. It may come from your partner. It may come from your children. It may come from dramas that suddenly erupt around in the family or the workplace. 
when you're growing and developing and just getting things to a certain place, often dramas happen. It could be health dramas. It could be financial dramas. It could be all sorts of things. You need to check in and just go, is this something to do with sabotage? Is this because I've been growing and developing and I'm getting to a stage that it's like, oh my gosh, I'm at, at that stage, at tipping point, at breakthrough point. Because this is what we notice happens with our clients and ourselves as well. And it's really important to keep going. I know that, that in, in my life, the people that I were closest to 10 years ago, most of them have fallen off from my life, fallen away from my life. If I see them, we have this amazing, wonderful, fun time together, but they haven't grown with me and they, took, they didn't understand my growth and development of what I was doing and how I was developing. And yet it can be hurtful and I haven't purposefully chopped them off at all. I still interact with them when I can. If I see them, we have a wonderful time. But they're not in my life on a daily basis anymore because they can't, they can't cope with the development and the place that I'm going. And I'm not gonna let them hold me back. I'm not gonna let them go, hang on, don't shine your light too bright. You have to be down here because this is what we understand. I'm gonna stand and, and follow my pathway and follow my purpose and be my authentic self going forward because I know that's what I need to do. So when things go wrong, you can get back on track. We're here to help you through th moments like this. So be prepared for them. They do happen and there's a way through. Catch you later.